Ashley here bringing you a yoga stretching flow today. Um, stretching and yoga is a good way to start your day, um, to move your body from sitting all day in your house, or it's just a good way to start um, to find peace in your body and in your mind. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So we'll start on all fours, wrists below your shoulders, knees below your hips here. Make sure your, your knees are hip distance apart. Finding and starting in your flat back. We'll inhale, bringing our tailbone to the back of the room, dropping our belly, eyes to the ceiling. We're in our cow, inhaling here. And then pushing into our palms, into our knees as we round our back to the ceiling, squeezing our belly button to the spine. Good. Inhaling into our cow, tailbone to the back of the room, eyes to the ceiling. And exhaling into our cat, squeezing the belly button to the spine, rounding our back. Let's do one more like that. Inhale into our cow, arching our back, reaching our eyes and our forehead to the sky. And exhale, rounding our back. We'll reset into our flat back, tucking our toes under, pushing into our palms, bringing our glutes to the sky for our downward dog, really stretching those arms forward as you bring the chest to the mat. The back of your legs might be tight, so feel free to walk it out, bring one knee forward, same heel lifts, opposite knee forward. Let your head hang heavy here, breathe. Beautiful, when you're ready, we'll walk your feet to the middle of the mat to meet your hand. Try and straighten out your legs as much as you can, but leave your torso and your chest and your arms and your head, letting those hang heavy in your ragdoll. Option to grab opposite elbows. Really stretch on the back of your legs. Beautiful, from here, palms to your shin. Eyes come forward for your flat back. From here, palms to the front of the mat. We'll step back onto our toes, bringing our hips closer to the ground, but making sure our body is still straight for your plank. We'll hold this for three, two, and one. We'll lower down onto our chest. We'll uncurl our toes, and then we'll push into our palms to lift our chest to the sky. Option to stay low on your forearms, or if you want a deeper back stretch, pushing all the way up to straight arms, releasing your head back. Let's look over your right shoulder and your left. We'll reset in the center, tucking our toes under, pushing into our downward dog. Feel free to walk out your feet here. Breathe. We'll lift our right toes to the sky. A nice straight leg for your three-legged dog. Then we'll bring that foot in between our hands, still keeping our left leg lifted off the mat. Engage your left quad to keep it straight and strong for your runner's lunge. Beautiful. From here, we'll straighten out your front leg as your forehead comes towards your knee. No big deal if your forehead cannot touch your knee. The goal is just to aim for your knee. So you feel that stretch in the back of your leg. 
and your front leg doesn't need to be completely straight, you can find a micro bend. The goal here is to find the stretch in your hamstring. And bring that same knee forward in our runner's lunge, back into straight leg. We'll go back and forth, inhaling to your lunge, exhaling, straight leg. Beautiful, after your next runner's lunge, we'll end in our straight leg and we'll hold it here for a moment. Breathe, feel the pull in your hamstring. If you feel sharp pain, make sure to bend your knee a little bit more. If you want more, you can flex your front foot, toes come to the sky. Beautiful, let's release out of this into our runner's lunge. From here, we'll walk our foot to the left side of your mat or your towel, and we'll drop your knees. Perfect. So we're in our pigeon, making sure both hips are lifted off the mat. Hands plant to the mat. You can stay here in your posture or fall forward. Well, let's make our way onto our palms. So you can stay in your pigeon, or if you want more, you can find in your quad stretch, my right hand is reaching for my left foot, and you pull your foot towards your back. Beautiful, let's release here. Palms come to the mat, we'll push up, Bring our right leg back to meet our left downward dog. And we have our other side, left leg straight to the sky. And we'll bring that foot in between our hands, keeping our right leg straight and lifted by keeping our, um, or flexing our right quad. Beautiful, feel this runner's lunge here, making sure your knee is above your ankle. Beautiful, when you're ready, we'll straighten out your left leg, forehead to knee. Remember, you can have a micro bend in this leg. Only goal here is to strengthen or stretch, it, stretch your hamstring. And we'll bring it forward into your lunge. And straighten out. Two more like that. Inhale into your lunge. And exhale to straight leg. Last one. Runner's lunge. And straight leg. We'll keep it in straight leg here. If you want more, you can flex your front foot, toes to the sky, bringing your forehead towards your knee. Well, let's release into our runner's lunge. We'll walk our foot to the right side of your mat, dropping our knee, both knees here, making sure both our hips are lifted, and then we're in our posture. We can stay here or fall forward. Beautiful, feeling the stretch in your glutes, in your hamstring. You can stay in your pigeon, or if you want your quad stretch, my left hand is reaching for my right foot and pulling it towards my back. And let's release here. Both hands plant on the mat, and we'll push ourselves up 
downward dog. Breathe here. Let's walk our feet forward to meet our hands. Drop our butt on the mat. Our entire body will lay on the mat here. Relaxing. Feet are dropping to opposite ways. Palms are facing the ceiling. Releasing your lower back off the mat. Closing your eyes. Slowing down your breathing. Staying in the present moment. And drifting away. 